don't like the diss tracks. They say, man, you supposed to come with better bars. There's no reason why people even should be thinking Kendrick Lamar even won. So they trying to get my dog Drake, not one, not two, but maybe three, four times. One person, one first time, the security guy got popped. trying to jump in a swimming pool. It's crazy. Like, you see what they did to Chris Brown? The girl that got caught in his house, cleaning his house? Why, she wasn't supposed to be there? Nah, no, she snuck in the house. It's like a bunch of girls. I was she snuck Chris in Brown his house. house to clean it? Girls Where were... can I get one of those? <laughs> no comment. You can sneak in my house if you clean. Oh, Paul. Nah, Just but, make okay. sure you don't steal anything. So the first person got, the first <clears throat> first time somebody came in and tried to attempt to uh, get, in, try, get inside Drake's house, he uh, basically did the Drake did the drive by shooting. They shot the security guard. The other two people got caught by trespassing. So I mean, it's just getting crazy out here. I mean, this beef went from like some minor, 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 where like nobody gonna get hurt. Like it's just two little backpack rappers rapping to like I mean, it may go to Tupac two and Biggie little, level. Two little swag surfers. <laughs> no, it's going Tupac and Biggie level. Hit them up. I mean, that's what people always said. They're like, oh, they're two pop rappers. One's like a pop pop rapper. And the other one's like a, a lyrical mindful, you know, rapper. Uh-huh. Uh, and they're like, they're not going to, you know, the lyrical guy and the pop star, what are they going to do? It's like a nerd and a, and a pop star that's a fairy. Drink who, who, You know, there's going to be no, no beef there. And then what happens? Someone gets popped. Exactly. Because when we start this and eventually it gets to a point when we're like, we're going to figure something out. Exactly. Then they got- someone has to get popped like smoke. In, that happened in California. And speaking of California, they oh, that said, wasn't even no beef stuff. That was just home invasion stuff. Mm-hmm. And then uh, speaking on top of that, they said uh, Drake selling his California house also. So after he got this situation happening, he's selling his California house. But we got a video right here basically explaining. How's he first... allowed to own American property? He's Canadian. You got money like Drake? You can buy. You can... He's trespassing. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to like not be there, and then I'm gonna move in. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you can't claim this. America claimed it back. <laughs> this is my mansion. He gonna send this you, is my loft. He's going to send you away like he did uh, uh, what, Dylan Brooks. I want to say, speaking of Dylan Brooks, he looks like a Dylan Brooks' cousin in this picture. You think so? Yeah. With the braids? They got the same haircut. Disrespectful. Or he game. looks like when Fred ran Philly when he's trying to have the same haircut as Dylan Brooks. <laughs> Shout out Freddie. So you said all light skins with braids look alike, look like Drake? No, just those guys. <laughs> I don't know. What is Fred Van Fleet? Light skin. Are you sure? I mean, what do you else think he is? He's Hawaiian. He's from the islands. Oh, Lord. Oh, He's an island boy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Press the button. Is this a video? Yes. Mr. Island Boy. Drake's security guard was shot overnight outside his $100 million dollar Toronto mansion in what witnesses have described as a they drive-by Sauce shooting. Walker shaking Police his could not confirm if Drake was inside the home during the incident. The 48-year-old security guard was struck around 2.10 a.m. by multiple gunshots, one of them which landed in his upper chest. An ambulance transported the unconscious victim to the hospital and he was taken into surgery. His injuries are not considered life-threatening. The shooting outside Drake's property comes amid his ongoing feud with fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar. The two performers have been releasing numerous diss tracks about each other the past few weeks. All right, co-hosts, when is the time to murk? At what point do you say, gloves off, we're not going song for song, someone's losing their life? Once you call him a pedo? Yeah. Once you call him a pedo, we ain't no going back. But how do you call someone a pedo and then you're the one sending shots first? That's pretty crazy. It's because he said like, oh, your kid ain't your kid. Do you think your kid ain't your kid ain't enough to, mm. enough to take someone out? Now, honestly, I feel like or that oh, we know why you're so infatuated with me touching is because you were touched. Mm. You know what being touched on feels like. True, true, true. I honestly feel like this is Drake trying to cop a way out of the whole Kendrick Lamar did. Kendrick Lamar he sacrificed the bodyguard to dodge the smoke. I mean, think like, it. how could I? How could I write right now? My bodyguard got hey, shot. Exactly. Like, what you mean your bodyguard got shot? He got he got on a life vest. He got a whole bulletproof vest. He, of course, gonna be all right. This is this is radical protocol. He gets shot. You call it. They amp- said it wasn't life threatening, right? Like he was already stable. Yeah, he was already stable. He got shot in the upper chest area. I mean, like it's not like he's shot in the neck, upper chest. I mean, would you make your security guards wear a vest, or would they just you know just be armed? Do they need it. Is it like I wonder? I wonder like if you're a Drake security guard, uh-huh. are you thinking that you know what I need to be vested up all the time? Or if you're like, you know, I'm only vesting up when we're going somewhere, but at the house, I'm just armed. I will, you know, I wonder what the level of security, what they're thinking. So I don't know if that guy had his vest on. 
I know typically security guards have vests, but I don't know, you know, maybe if they're traveling, if there's not really that much heat at the house, if he's in a secluded gated community that's hard to get to, mm -hmm. they might, I don't know if they're wearing their vests. You know what? Do you I, know if that guy got hit like that or not? I don't understand. I don't understand how all these celebrities be having these big, 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 big houses with all these acres, and somehow somebody managed to break on break on their property, drones. end up in their house. I'm like, all you got to do is get two drones and connect a swing uh -huh. a seat, and then you just fly wherever you want to go. Well, you fly. Well, you like you trying to break into like Drake house? You get a drone flying in his house. Yeah. They don't even do that. That's too, that they no, they just hop the fence. Yeah, I know. Just like they did with. I'm just uh, saying how I would do it. I'd have a drone carry me. You like, just have like two or three drones connected and make like a a, a swing set seat. You're set. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna pop you out of the sky. Flip I mean, and just like flip I, from fifty feet up. Just like I said, how they got caught in uh, they got caught in Chris Brown house. They got caught in Drake house. Ah, oh, I mean, I mean, they broke into a lot of celebrity houses, like Mariah Carey house. House got broken into. I mean, Rick Ross house. I remember one time when you called me and you were trapped in the closet. Unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shame, but uh, but I mean that's what I feel like. I feel like honestly, like this is a cop out from Drake. Drake really feel like he he losing the beef. Kendrick Lamar dropped that that uh. He looks sad in this photo. It's a sad photo. It's a sad time. He's there, is he watching a Raptors game? He's watching. That's probably why they were losing. <laughs> he had a J Cole concert. Raptors have sucked since Kawhi left. He had a J Cole concert. Yeah, that's when J. Cole told him that it hurt his heart and he wasn't sleeping well. Let me stop disrespecting let me stop disrespecting J. Cole. He's nice. He but, disrespected himself. But do you do you feel like this is this is good enough a reason for Drake to Drake to back up out of the whole beef with Kendrick Lamar because of real life things is happening? Because he doesn't want to lose sponsorships. I mean that and I mean his security guards are getting shot. I mean I mean he is sponsored by like Nike big brands, so I don't know. That is a pretty big bag. Let's see. Uh but you don't want to look like a punk either. But you're also not a gangster rapper. You're a pop rapper. <laughs> That's what. But I'm... if you're a pop rapper that loses to a lyrical rapper, is that just as bad? I mean, hey, I mean, it's like almost losing the beef to Wale. Like, what are we, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I mean, exactly. Oh, what? What's up, Wale Junior? <laughs> You went in your closet and you're like, I'm gonna be Wale today. <laughs> oh, you horrible. Show him the kicks. No, ugh, horrible. Nah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say. No, okay. So like I said earlier today, so is this is this okay? After I said earlier today, like, you know, it's Wale Drake wears just, glasses too. He does. Should Drake just stop getting to beef all together? Because I mean, this is the second time he's trying to back out. He backed out of the whole Pusha T thing because Pusha T was taking it too far. Now he's backing out the whole Kendrick Lamar thing because Kendrick Lamar taking it too far. So only person he really beat was Meek Mill. Philly's own Meek Mill. In common. Oh, and yeah, also Diddy beat on Meek Mill, but that was in a different way. <laughs> so, but allegedly that was consensual, so they didn't charge for that charge. I wanted a Meek Mill interview. How am I supposed to get a Meek Mill interview? We're trying to gain subscribers, not lose them. Oh yeah, how you? We're not. We're not. We're not trying to associate with the cream chasers. <laughs> Nobody likes those guys. Oh, man. Nobody likes them. But comment down below how you feel about this whole Drake situation. Do you feel like it's a cop-out or somebody really trying to take my dog uh, Champagne Poppy out? They're trying to pop his champagne. Or did he take another person's girl and they tired of it? Because I mean, he... It was Tyga. You think Tyga won? I mean, no. Tyga did just... You wait, know wait, what's crazy? Wait, no, no, wait. Tyga did just Drake. Yeah, yeah. But you know what's crazy? Is that what? he, uh, Drake has all of Pharrell's chains. Mm -hmm. Maybe how did, for how, did, how did that happen? Auction, sell it. You don't want it no more. Things like that. So no, he was, lost it in the bed. Probably, probably need him. He, most likely, he needed money and he sold it because he needed money. That's so disrespectful. Or when probably leased the, or probably leased the when, chain and never Drake, paid it all off. And Drake said, and uh, "Come get Pharrell's the, legacy out of my house." Yeah, She's, that's what they be trying to do. He, They're trying to get it. So basically, he called for it. Yeah. He caught like his own. Asked for this. He caught his own hit. Play stupid games, win super, super prizes. prizes. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Kendrick ain't doing no goon stuff. Like, he's a whole Compton. He's a whole Compton gangbanger. Hangs out with Brick Baby. Nah, they uh, nah, yeah, I think on oh, six so maybe, maybe because Brick Baby. No, nah, is he blood? Who Kendrick? I don't think so. He's not. I think he's Compton, Compton Crip. Cause uh, I thought I saw old pictures of him in red. 
I don't comment down below which one it is. I know it's Compton, but I'm not sure what it is. I know I know the game is red, and they both because they're both from Compton. And this topic right here is going going basically. I mean, basically, you already jumped into it. You might as well jump into the next topic. And before y'all like uh, just go after us in the comments, I don't care at all about California music. <laughs> and you're like, what? What about Tupac? Tupac's from New York. He's not even from the West Coast. And you know the Outlaws? They're yeah. all from New Jersey. <laughs> For real? So, like, most of your crew's not even from the West Coast. East Coast. It's crazy because I hate, don't get it wrong, I hate mm-hmm. Diddy. And I hated Bad Boys. Uh-huh. But to be fair, Tupac's from the East Coast. I hate when they get on you. I mean, it's true. I the mean, Outlaws is from New Jersey. Like, I ain't literally know that all part. of them from New Jersey. So I, shout out New Jersey. In the dirty water. Um, but speaking of dirty water, man, my, this next oh, topic right speaking here. Speaking of the game, he's just trying all of California today. 